here. Let me just take a look. They should be in oh down there in the middle. Goodness, yeah, there's a whole lot of them. Oh yeah, there. APU. Okay. Mm -hmm. This that one over here. To APU. Good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Turn that over to APU. Good. All right. Move that up to the on position first. You have to pull out and then lift up to the on position. Good. And then down here is our exhaust gas temperature. We're going to watch that as long as it doesn't go over 700 during the start. Okay. We'll leave it in the on position. Otherwise, we'll move that off to okay. off. Okay. So when you're ready, go ahead and pull that out again, lift it up to start, and then return it back to the on position. There you go. Okay. Now it's starting. We can hear it cranking. Maybe crank. Okay, my temp age is starting, all right. Lights off. Mm -hmm. That's a good start. Okay, pull that out, lift it up to the closed. This one isn't working, but it was okay on Friday, and there's none on the ground, so that shows us that the system's <laughs> testing. But okay. We're going to watch it while we run it. So as long as we have oil pressure okay. and our temperature's not going high, we're okay. So that's taking the air from the APU and putting it into the plane, then we'll turn that one on. That's our left engine switch, so that's going to run it. I want you to do, you're going to move this switch. Um, back this direction, just push and hold that back if you reach it, stand up if you have to. So that's right. it. Yep, towards the rear of the plane, just keep pushing and holding it. What we want to see is the fire detection system for engines one and three functions. That way we know if there's a fire. First time, Dad, you'll be ready on the fuel. Okay. One. Yep, number one. So go ahead and squeeze that. Yep, don't do anything with the fuel until I tell you. So we're watching in two, so we're coming up towards 7% now. Almost green. Yeah. 
unlike a car where you feel the engine actually doing things, here it's just smooth. It takes a little while to respond, so you can just keep moving it forward. It's just, well, once you see the gauge move, it's kind of slow down a little bit. How you move. Gas See how it cools down as the air flow kind of keeps going through it, the fuel's done, and then the temperature creeps back up up to 70%. These engines, they, they lag. It's like a turbocharger. You know, they have a lag to them. And early jets, that was a real problem because the compressors were so heavy, they didn't accelerate fast. The pilots could get low on the landing and put the power up and then... I push it up pretty fast on this one. It takes a long time, yeah. It doesn't respond right away. Feel that one push us out. We can do it one at a time, just pull out, move down to idle, or to cut off, and that'll shut the engine down. Go down all the way, all the way and the lock latch in a little bit. Watch the temperature, you'll see that way off. Okay, that's harder to do than I expected. <laughs> <laughs> 